this video, I'll explain how to handle multiple analytes for a sample design in VSP. I'll use the sample area on this map to contain my samples. I'll use a basic one sample t-test design. Go to sampling goals, compare average to fixed threshold. Then I'll switch to the analytes tab. This design has three data columns by default, analyte, units, and action level. Other designs may have different default columns. The simplest way to use the analyte page is to enter these three columns for each of your analytes. I'll set my first analyte to arsenic and my units to micrograms per liter. VSP just accepts your units as text and doesn't do any kind of conversion or calculation with them. Finally, I'll set the action level to 10. That would be 10 micrograms per liter. I'll set a second analyte by clicking the next row down. You can also use the Add New Analyte button at the bottom of the page. I'll set the units to milligrams per kilogram and the action level to 150. Now to see how the sample design process uses these parameters, I'll switch back to my first page, the design page. This drop list is now populated with my two analytes. My action level is present and the units are in the appropriate places. If I switch to my other analyte, you'll see its action level and its unit in the appropriate places. With these two analytes, I can create separate sampling designs for each. I'll fill in the other design parameters for each analyte. You see that each analyte has a different number of samples calculated. The analyte with the most samples will be the one that drives the overall sample design. In this case, it's 35 samples for old lace. It's the number of sample locations that would be placed on the map if I press apply right now. That's the simple way to use the analytes page. There's a more powerful but less well-known way to use the analytes page. I'll go back to the analytes page and press the columns button. You can customize which columns appear on the page including all of the parameters for the sample design. The parameters with a star are required and cannot be removed. Parameters that have the same mark are mutually exclusive. For example, alpha and confidence are complements of each other. We allow only one or the other to be displayed so they don't conflict with each other. I'll add confidence, lower bound of the gray region, beta, and standard deviation, and then click OK. You can see all the design parameters are displayed. These columns can be imported from a file or pasted from the clipboard. This means you can have all the design parameters in a spreadsheet and copy and paste them into the Analyte page. I have some design parameters on the clipboard, so I'll click the Paste button. I'll check the box to not import the header row, and then click OK. Now I can switch to the design page and see the sample design results without having to enter the design parameters one analyte at a time. The last analyte had the most samples required to meet its objectives. That will be the number of samples that drives the overall design. I'll click the OK button to apply the design. 42 samples are placed on the map. If I switch to the report view and scroll down, you can see that all the design parameters for all the analytes are preserved and documented. 